Hey all, welcome to ShareTrek. This is Raj here, friends. Uh, it has been a very interesting day. Um, I have a few thoughts I want to share with you um, overall, and it's going to touch upon genomics as well. So uh, please watch until the end. Uh, I have a few points that I wanted to present in a sequence and then draw some conclusions. So with that said, let's get started. <music> Welcome back, friends. Uh, interest rates went up 25 basis points as expected and did not cause a flutter when the Fed announced it because people were expecting it for the most. The Nasdaq ended marginally down around 3 point, uh, I mean, 0.33 percent, while Nasdaq futures were positive at the time of this recording, uh, which is on uh, 26th of July after hours. And it seems like the interest rate announcement was a non-event. And um, in the meantime, in Canada, it's a question of who blinks first. Home buyers who believe that interest rate hikes have come to an end are buying up to stay ahead of home price increases when rates get cut. And the central bank is trying to send a message that rate cuts uh, happen depending on the data and it's not a given. Everyone knows how tenuous the argument is given the risk that the uh, of any further uh, interest rate hikes by the central bank uh, that would uh, upset the apple cart, which is the housing market, because interest rates, uh, as they go up uh, any further, might uh, create a lot of distress for many uh, uh, people who hold mortgages. And uh, the um, government had recently been mulling about providing subsidy to those uh, people who have uh, mortgage on their principal residence and are finding some kind of a stress. So uh, things are looking very dicey out here, and we'll have to see who blinks first. Now, coming to the slew of results that came in, which has created a whole lot of optimism in the market, cloud revenues uh, ha are becoming more and more important. Uh, Google somehow did better than Microsoft, and that kind of uh, gives it a little bit of catch-up um, since Microsoft announced uh, chat GPT. So uh, Google is trying to play catch up in my opinion and they're done very well with uh, cloud revenue and their shares were uh, uh, handsomely rewarded today. So that's one positive news. AI revolution is a big catalyst in this case and Microsoft is already ahead of Google uh, and um, with that chat GPT announcement and Google is trying to play catch up. And big tech uh, with plenty of money power is ready to partner with AI startups and companies which are generally in the AI field or in the intersection. And uh, I was listening to an interview uh, that uh, Dan Ives gave to uh, CNBC. And uh, Dan Ives says that he thinks that uh, AI and software revolution uh, and the cloud revenues are the inflection point for this new trend. He even calls it a fourth industrial revolution. And proof seems to come when you look at Meta bouncing back with double-digit revenue growth uh, that they had not seen since 2021. And their third quarter forecast exceeded analyst expectations, so it's uh, bumped the shares. And I'm expecting a handsome reward in the FNGU that I'm holding, uh, the FNGU ETF that I'm holding. It is triple leveraged. It's done very well for me. If we consider Snap earnings to be an outlier, then what Dan Ives says uh, seems to make sense. If tech does well and we are in the new industrial revolution driven by AI, then we need to think of the far-reaching effects it will have. AI is actually going to replace human intellect in many use cases across industries. The low-hanging fruits like customer service, chatbot, etc. will be easy pickings. But then there are even more complex use cases where big money is to be made. I will make a separate video on that. But I want to touch upon AI and genomics before I end this uh, video. So if I was to uh, look at AI itself, what AI does, I have been using ChatGPT for quite a while and I have taken its help to modify my scripts, uh, to improve my wordings and also to give me some idea on how to do my titles and description. Uh, so I have seen how versatile ChatGPT is in just that use case of you know um, manipulating text and uh, playing around with uh, concepts, uh, synthesizing and analyzing concepts, those kind of things, ChatGPT is pretty good. And uh, that's what most of the people do when they go to work in the office. So uh, I think that um, it's going to AI is going to make its way uh, into most of the business verticals. And uh, when it comes to genomics, we have already seen uh, that AI has been deployed uh, by NVIDIA through their Cambridge initiative. Uh, guys, you would remember long time ago, I made a video on NVIDIA where I had just said that, you know, we have to look at the chip companies also because uh, the GPUs are being used uh, in AI and uh, the GPUs are, have got a lot of power. 
and therefore we have to look at companies uh, chip companies which are in which are making uh, uh, gpus and which are also in uh, ai so in that context i had done a video on nvidia and focused on their cambridge uh, initiative uh, in genomics so if you have not seen that video you could always search for it in our home page and have a look and if you put in the comments that you want to see something similar about nvidia again uh, put it in the comment and i'll make a video for you with a updated version of what i had done before so i think ai can help in uh, proteomics uh, it can help in identifying unique markers in the genome and correlating them to diseases for example there may be many more use cases in genomics uh, which uh, I, not being a genomics expert i cannot come up with but as a computer person uh, someone who has worked with databases and systems i think that the potential for ai in genomics is absolutely fantastic and i suspect dna will be able to use ai when i say dna i'm talking about ginkgo bioworks i suspect ginkgo bioworks will be able to leverage ai to the maximum to go through their entire database of organisms and identify patterns and uh, expedite the process of creating new organism with specified characteristics so ai could do a lot of uh, learning and uh, come up with predictive um, uh, combinations and uh, help uh, uh, ginkgo uh, not only um, reduce their cost of uh, making a new organism but also reduce the lead time and uh, the consistency uh, with which uh, they are able to deliver so that's what i think um, uh, lies in store for uh, ai in uh, genomics uh, just based on the scratching the surface uh, then there will be many other companies which will come up uh, that could do uh, a lot of work i mean you can always hazard a guess of all the kind of use cases that will be there but suffice to say that genomics is going to be one of the big beneficiaries there will be other industries that might benefit like uh, like um, uh, automated driving Uh, where uh, the the vehicle has to take its own decision based on all the inputs that it gets so it's already there self learning uh, self uh, self driving is already there and it will be there in uh, uh, aerospace and right now india has uh, launched chandrayaan 3 which is their moon mission and the uh, uh, spacecraft which is uh, uh, orbiting around the earth it's taking a uh, multiple orbits in an elliptical orbit uh, with the farthest portion uh, being uh, incrementally for, further away from earth and the uh, closest uh, point being in the same location uh, in space same distance in space from earth so what they are doing is they are boosting the rocket uh, uh, at particular moments so that the uh, elliptical orbit keeps on expanding until it can then be pushed into the moon orbit and then there'll be elliptical orbit around the moon which will keep on reducing in uh, uh, length uh, until and uh, reducing in distance until it is close enough to moon and then the landing that's going to happen is going to purely use ai and uh, that's uh, that's what they are planning to do and they're going to use the previous uh, module that they have still got in the orbit which has got a lot of images of moon the landing area and this time they're going to use ai to overcome the mistakes that happened last time because of which the spacecraft uh, crash landed so what they are going to do is they don't have a fixed spot to land they have a fixed area in which they want to land and they're going to let the ai take the necessary decisions of identifying the terrain and deciding where it would be suitable to land and also for calibrating the engine burn so that the landing is smooth and it's not a rough landing or a crash landing so we'll have to see how that goes uh, but Uh, the most important point out here for this story is to say that ai finds its application even in space uh, technology and uh, progressively i think uh, you will find ai embedded like when we started off with java uh, we were saying that java is a universal compiler uh, it can be found on various platform and it will use the same syntax so if you develop Uh, java uh, application or uh, applet in one uh, environment it can be de deployed in multiple environment then we said that java will also be in the refrigerator and in uh, watches and other places and we have seen how that turned out so similarly i think uh, ai is going to find a space everywhere a place everywhere and it will be doing a lot of work so that's my prediction and i think i enthusiastically embrace this concept that this is the fourth industrial revolution and friends i would like to know what you guys think about it and among our watch list companies of uh, genomic companies which ones do you think are going to benefit the most and of course i think we have to redouble our efforts to keep track of what nvidia is doing what uh, intel is doing and what amd is doing when it comes to the gpu side of their business 
whether they are putting more emphasis there because that's the um, uh, GPU is the one that's going to provide the kind of power that is needed for these kind of analytics. So with that, my friends, I'd like to bring this video to an end. I hope you liked this. And if you liked it, please press a like out there. And we are marching towards 5,000 subscribers. And if you have not yet subscribed, what are you waiting for? Please subscribe. It's absolutely free. And help us go towards the 5,000 mark. Thanks and have a great day. Bye for now.